not only is it a wine room, and this little wine rack right here. Ooh. Today we find ourselves in Knoxville, Tennessee at the Knoxville Parade of Homes, and we're standing inside of a home where even the pets live the high life. But let me get you outside, I'll tell you all about it. Oh man, all right, we got another new builder. This is the Pine Brook from Dupree Homes. And this beautiful home features five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, a four car garage. I love these lanterns, nice gas lanterns going all the way around it. And all of that sits inside of approximately 6,200 square feet. If you are interested in this home, oh man, there's a ghost at the door. It is approximately $2.5 million. And with that, let's get inside. All right, so man, all day today we've been getting into some amazing homes and I'm, I'm just, this was a last minute trip and I'm just so thankful, uh, especially like Dupree Homes was, you know, nice enough to let us come out here and check out some of their homes. But all of that is the view that you were greeted with when you do first walk in. And I'll go ahead and turn you around. Let's check out this beautiful foyer. So you got a nice herringbone pattern right here, just like a little accent, a little inlay. And you're gonna see a lot of gold accents throughout this whole home. Another set of arch doors right here. I think they're in, and I'm a fan of them, I do have to say. But just as soon as you walk in to the left-hand side, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. This looks like it could be a flex room, an office, almost like a little parlor room. And I love the pink accent wall. Personally, I'm not gonna want the pink, but I'm sure I'm sure there's someone out there that likes the pink. I'm gonna want a darker tone, but I love the patterns on it, the texture. You've got this really nice big chandelier right here. And then all of the windows just kind of surrounding the whole room. Very nice. And then on the opposite side is the formal dining room. So another really nice kind of wallpaper going around here. It looks kind of a little textury. Got this gorgeous chandelier. Nice big space. You got this little cutout over here. And then the one thing that I do like with the crown molding, it's almost like layered. It looks kind of, kind of funky up there, like in a good way. A good funky, you know what I mean? Like cool. And then you've got this little alleyway with the coffered ceilings. It's kind of like a little corridor that runs right off of the dining room and parlor area. But past that, you come into the living room. Of course, you've got the sliding doors right there that allow you to go right on onto the back porch. You've got this nice big fireplace, not only in here, but you also have one out there on that covered patio as well. Beautiful built-ins. This is really fun. I like that a lot. Definitely a statement piece within the house. Got the cool little balls right there in the fireplace. And then another built-in on the side of that. And then I'll go ahead and I want to pan you around, give you a little sneak peek back into the kitchen area. But then from here, we'll go ahead and hop out onto the back patio and check out the rear elevation of the home. Like I said, another fireplace. This one actually, does it have a, yeah, so it's got a gas hookups. I didn't know if this one was a, a wood burning or not. But a great big mantle, nice little spot to hang out, maybe catch a game. And then this door right here, I believe it leads into the master bedroom. A little sneak peek, yeah. But really nice space out here, definitely like this. And then of course, back behind us, if those two fireplaces weren't enough, now you can come out here, hang out in the pool and have access to another little fire pit. Ooh. All right, and then just real quick, check out this rear elevation. 
Got the two chimneys like that. And that fireplace, man, that thing is warm standing right over the top of it. It is getting a little cooler now. We have officially entered fall and I'm super excited about that. Got, a, got the sweatshirt on today, which is nice. I always like fall. The leaves are starting to change. Feels good. But coming back inside, we'll go ahead and hit up this kitchen area. And of course you've got the great big island. Nice big pendant lights hanging down over the top of it. You can tell that you've got several spaces for some seats over here, but they've also added some stool little spaces on this side. And we'll check in just a second to see if they're on the other side. Looks like you've got a panelized dishwasher. You've got this nice undermount sink looking out into the living room. Just a really nice view. Oh, there's a couple of these fun drawers. So you've got a trash can drawer. Oh man, this one's a new one. So you've got like a little paper towel drawer. Maybe put all the your Ziploc bags and stuff in there. I don't think anything, so I think that's just decorative at the end. But then yeah, you've got another spot down here uh, for some more stools on this side. And then along the back wall, man, oh man, I love that range hood. Just looks amazing. Panelized refrigerator. You've got this nice gas range. That thing is, that's gorgeous. And then, ooh, even the little accents. So you've got like the mesh with like some metal lattice in the upper cabinets, even got windows back behind it to provide some backlighting. Kind of neat looking and then check it. See, this is, I feel like this whole home is gonna be a first for me. So it's got like this kind of ribbed backsplash, which looks neat. And then all the way down at the end, you've got a built-in microwave and more cabinets going all the way up to the ceiling. And then back behind us, same thing, kind of got the little mesh with the latticey accents. I feel like this is gonna be like a china cabinet, maybe maybe like a, a spirit, like a bourbon or whiskey. Maybe, that's just what my mind goes to because it looks fancy, you know what I mean? Maybe you could just put like some Ritz crackers in there, I'm not real sure. But then just off of the kitchen itself, you come into the butler's pantry, which again is floor to ceiling cabinets. You've got a wine fridge. Another little prep sink with the window. Let's check out some of these big ones real quick. See if we can find any pullouts. I'm not going to open up all of them, but we'll check out a couple. They're probably all going to be the same. Yeah. But then you've got some upper ones too, some little small ones with the cool little little claps, clasps up there. All right. Uh, well, let's go ahead and, well, since we're here, we're going to go ahead and hit up this little sitting area right here. This could probably be like a less formal sitting area uh, or like breakfast room, like a morning room if you wanted to set it up like that like a little table in here or maybe this is just you know after dinner you come over here and you don't want to be outside because it's too cold or maybe it's too hot you know what I mean because if it's too cold I'm cranking up that fireplace and I'm still gonna be out there I still I'm still gonna enjoy it all right uh, well let's go ahead and do this real quick so you do have a first floor master down here and it is just off of the living room I didn't want to go too far away from it because then we'd just be bouncing back and forth. But uh, got a little, I think this is a coat closet, which is nice because you're right next to the, to the foyer, which is just around the corner. But then this little hallway right here, little corridor, it's got this set of double doors, opens up into the master bedroom. So very spacious, very elegant. Again, you got the nice kind of brass 
chandelier. Almost like a fabric-y material. I'm not sure what it is, but it's nice. Like on the end tables or on the nightstands. And then the door that we saw outside leads out to the patio. And then into the ensuite. Again, you've got another set of double doors. It's pretty, right? It's nice. So double vanity, makeup vanity. And then back behind us, we've got the standalone tub and shower. Zero threshold in the shower, love that. But several different shower heads. You've got the huge rainfall shower head up there. I don't even know what it is. I guess that's how you turn it on with the little knobs. And then just on the opposite side of the tub, you've got the water closet with the toilet. And I don't think I've been too far into the closet. It's got a lot of fun little built-ins. Got like a little shoe rack or something over on this side. A little bench on this side. All right, so now we'll get back to the other side, uh, which has some really cool things I think you're going to like. If you are interested, in this home or Dupree Homes, you can click that link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area. Filter based off of number of bedrooms, price, square footage, all different types of things. Take the tour like you are right now and reach out to the builder. But getting into this back hall, like I said, it's got tons of things happening. The first of which is this powder room and this thing, it is a statement piece. First off, I mean, the light fixture itself is pretty gnarly. And then of course you've got the really cool wallpaper just kind of pops. And then back here you've got the black toilet, which just kind of blends it all together. On the back side, you've got kind of a floating vanity with like a, a little brass inlay or something in there, which is pretty neat. It's kind of fun. Let's see. And then this right here is pretty unique. It's a, it's a neat use of under stair space. So you've got the little archway right here and that leads into the wine room. But not only is it a wine room, and this little wine rack right here. Ooh. <laughs> well, let's see. It uh it houses the water heaters. And let me see if I can get in here. It's like you've got some reverse osmosis stuff. Just like your utility closet, you know what I mean? But then let's see. Kind of a, a big feller but then you see that little bed right there i'll show you where that goes in just a minute it is for your dog though but we'll get there i'm gonna let you sit on that one for a minute uh, across the way from that you've got two closets one on either side so this is kind of a place to hang your coats because we're not too far from the garage and then you've got another one down here, which is basically the same thing. Not quite, but close, you know, it's just a closet. This one's not set up like a coat closet though, just like a cleaning closet. And then we come into the laundry room slash mud room. So I've got some questions. Is this like a, ooh, it's like a, like an iron, like you hang up all your clothes, like a steamer. Man, that's fancy. But a huge laundry room in here, cabinets going all the way up to the ceiling. 
got washer dryer hookups and nice open shelves like this thing is massive tons and tons of folding space and then right here of course we saw kind of the back side of this doggy bed but your dog gets all of that space back there just to kind of roam around so you're not just putting them in like a little kennel you know what i mean they get to if you go off somewhere and they have to stay here they're not they're not too cooped up they've got the run of the place but really nice. This built-in steamer right here. I didn't even know that existed. I've never seen that. But then you've got some coat hooks right here, right off of kind of going out into the, the driveway area. Kind of, it almost reminds me of, of going out into, it's like a garden door, you know what I mean? That's what it reminds me of. Into the motor court. But then this door right here comes out into the garage. Even the garage has some windows, which is pretty neat. Like it's bright, it's open. I know we've seen garages with windows, but it's open. And then what do we have over here? A little, little, little pet washing station. Oh look, it's even got the little bone with the tile. That's nice. Is that a water filtration system? Maybe? Beam, I don't know what beam. All right, now it's time for us to ascend to the second floor. And you have t these massive windows. It's kind of wrapping around. We've got a chandelier. I'll show it to you once we get all the way up here, coming up to the top of the stairs. So right off of the top of the staircase, this sits over the top of the garage. This is kind of like a, a huge bonus room, little game room. Looks like they've got it set up kind of like a, a little dry bar, maybe. But plenty of space. What would you do with this? I'll give you one more pan real quick once we get over here in the corner so you can kind of scope it out again. What are you turning this into? And then I think there are kind of a lot of stuff up here, it kind of weaves around. So we've got another set of double doors that comes into, looks like a little office area with some nice built-ins. Kind of a fun space. Have the kids come up here and do their homework. Got the closet with the furnace in it. And then as we start working our way further down the hall, we've got attic access. Another bathroom. Now I think this bathroom is also shared with this bedroom right next to it. Got a closet. That's a huge walk-in closet. But like a secondary bedroom, it's massive. Got the toilet back here. Really pretty shower. And then back behind us is a single vanity. All right, so we're gonna enter this bedroom from over here. This sits all the way towards the back of the house. You know, I'd have to say this might be, no, we did a Parade of Homes tour, oh, where were we, Kansas? Did we do Parade of Homes in Kansas? I think so, but it was after the Parade of Homes. This is the first week here in Knoxville, so they, they haven't gone through and judged it yet. But uh, this is the door back into the bathroom. So that's pretty neat. Like, I don't even think half of everybody's got all their homes set up yet. There's only a few, and we did this one last minute, um, like this trip. So I'm glad it kind of worked out. Another little sitting area up here. There are a lot of sitting areas. 
man, maybe we should just, we should turn this into a series and just like go across the country touring nothing but parade of homes. And then like, we'll vote. We'll do like the, the Livingston Home Awards of 2023, but all together, you know what I mean? Into the next bedroom. This is bedroom number two up here. And they're all really big. Got the nice modern fans in here too. Ooh, and this one's got, this one just keeps going. All right, so it's got its own little ensuite with the single vanity. Oh. Linen closet. And then back behind us is the toilet. That's fun right there with the sconces in the window, like on the window ledge, sill. And then you've got another shower, another zero threshold. And then into the closet, kind of a walkthrough closet. And it passes through into this other room back here, which I could see where it could be a gym. would be my room like I would want this room as a kid just because it's got a hidden passage back there almost which is pretty neat all right let's see Did I, I don't think I missed another room this is the third bedroom up here kind of a cool bed we <laughs> I don't know where I was looking the other day some it's probably some real estate group or something that I'm in and it was just a picture of this like huge bed in the shape of a bear and uh, I showed it to Jen I was like how much would you love this <laughs> like it just looked like something you would jump on and sink into and just it looked cozy as all get out this bed kind of reminds me of it even though it's you know it's not quite the same thing but anyway then coming into this bathroom this bedroom's ensuite I like that shower, just that little tile vein that goes through it. Kind of looks neat, and it's even on the, on the floor. Oh, it kind of runs all the way up underneath of the... Oh, it goes all the way up. Man, that is neat. Hopefully I got... y'all get a good look at the shower? I was too busy following that little tile strip, but you got the toilet, and then back behind us is a floating vanity and then into its closet. Let's see, Let's see if I can get you back here and show you back the other way. And then I think there's something else over here. Let's see if we can get to it. Or maybe, was that it? Oh! There it is. This one is the secret hidden room. You'd think that it would just wrap around that gets you. So I lost track. What number is this? Four, this is the fourth bedroom. Upstairs, fifth bedroom overall. And this one sits back towards the back of the house too. And these things are ginormous. This is the only one without its own ensuite though. All right, man, I am gonna have to come up with a rating system so we can like, you know, go down and like, everybody can put like one through 10 or something in the comments based off of different criteria, you know what I mean? Just so we're all on the same page. I think that would be super fun. I've talked about it in a couple other videos. Maybe it'll happen, we'll see, I gotta put it together. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Again, if you do want any more information on this home or Dupree Homes, you can find that link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothypeatlivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans across the country that we've toured. And you can see if they're built in your area, watch the tour, reach out to the builder. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. And as always, my name is Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.